Oh, hi. Um, just let you know that uh, my calls are recorded for training purposes. I wonder if you can help me. It's about today's headline. I've actually got two evening standards in front of me, and um, I'm trying to understand things here. It says, cash for terror hidden in her knickers on one of them. And the other one, it says, student hid cash for jihad in her knickers. And um, firstly, I'm, I'm trying to kind of, it's, I'm finding it quite confusing. There's like a picture of quite an attractive woman. And, and she's, she's, you know, it's got quite an alarming, it, it, an alarming font. And it says, cash for ter- ter- terror hidden in her knickers. It's all very, very confusing. What's, what's really going on here, do you think? She was trying to take 20,000 euros to um, her friend's husband who was fighting jihad in Syria. Oh, fi- fighting jihad. You mean fighting for is- Islamic cause in, in Syria, right? I'm just saying, where should she have kept the money? I mean, if someone is to, you know, is it wrong to keep the money in a nick? Should she, should she have kept it somewhere else? I mean, what, is it really, is it that important where, where someone keeps the money? What, what's, what, it just seems quite strange. My, the thing is that my seven-year-old kid sort of saw the headline and, and she sort of asked me, Dad, what's that all about? And I, I, it, it seems like a very confusing message of kind of, on the one hand, sort of making a kind of joke of it, and on the other hand, meant to sort of create fear. What, what exactly is that? What's, what's really going on? Do you know what I mean? That's what's really going on. I don't see a joke in, in the headline. That's what she did. Right. So there's nothing like subliminal or anything like that going on here at all? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, you never know with, with, um, with courts. You never know what's going on. But um, as far as I'm aware, that's, the story's pretty straight. She, she stuffed 20,000 euros down her pants and tried to get through the security. Right. Right, see what you mean. I mean. How did they know it was for, it was for, you know, for terrorism purposes? I mean, it could be for a whole assortment of things, couldn't it be? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not qualified to tell you that, but I think I might right. think that they're on top of that kind of thing. Well, it, will, it will unfold as, as the court case progresses. I, I like the pun, by the way, unfold. I see where you're going with that. <laughs> as, the, as the court case goes progresses. on, we will um, sure find out what the connection is. Right, right. It's just, it just seems, all, you know, because some of my friends suggest that the Evening Standards actually uses all sorts of subliminal techniques. Is that, is that not true? If only, sir. If only. If only. Okay, thanks very much, right. by the way. You've been very helpful. Thanks. Bye.